here with Derek Archer from Christ the King up in Bellingham. How are you doing, man? I am doing fantastic. How are you, Jeff? Super good. Now, you are in Bellingham, and that whole north end, Christ the King is taking over. I mean, you guys are like multiplying like rabbits up there. What the heck are you doing? Well, you know, I, I would say uh, a couple things. One is uh, we are releasing people into ministry as quickly as possible. Mm. And uh, another thing that we do is we really have a heavy emphasis on recovery. And I'd say uh, the third thing is we kind of understand the process. And so it's uh, when you combine those things, you're kind of walking a bunch of people through very real stories and helping them kind of heal and uh, and find out who they are, who Jesus is creating them to be. But like I said, as quickly as possible, helping them be contributors and part of the story. What does what you said process? You mentioned process. What does that process look like for uh, those leaders that will oversee the Christ the Kings? You know, and I mean, you guys got them in Birch Bay and like Cedro Woolley and. Yeah, I'd say, uh, very simply, we don't expect non-Christians to act like Christians. Mm. We expect non-Christians to act like non-Christians. And so, uh, walking with them through the very messy details of uh, learning to live selfishly, uh, or, or learning uh, from being uh, living selfishly to living a selfless life. And, and that takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Right. Are you planning on moving southward with Christ the Kings and, and maybe even even into other states or? Well, we are, we do have uh, several locations in other states. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, uh, Colorado, Oregon, Idaho, and we just started one several uh, weeks ago in Florida. Uh, but really, at Christ the King, we say that we are uh, building a bike as we're riding it. Mm -hmm. So honestly, it, it's really difficult to say where, where God's leading us. It's really dependent on the leaders that he brings to our community. For about how many years now has there been a focus on getting uh, as many uh, of your churches out there? Well, I'd say the first couple were accidental. It definitely wasn't a strategic thing. Uh, so about 12 years ago, we just kind of lopped off a bunch of people that were driving to our location. Uh, but since then, we've we've kind of learned from the different ways that we've tried things, and and uh, we're open to learn and try some more. It's great trial and error, huh? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For next year, there's talk that there might be a uh, Calibrate Yo Mama contest. Yeah. And uh, who do you think is going to win between the matchup of Francis Chan and Mark Driscoll in the Yo Mama? Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I, th I think Chan could, could probably come up with hardcore some creative off. stuff, but I think Mark would definitely hit you harder. He's hardcore. And uh, yeah, Mama jokes, Brutal. especially after a few beers, Mama jokes can get really rough. That's good. Thank you so much, Derek. Appreciate it, man. Christ the King.